All right, welcome back to the second part of the Stable Diffusion Installation Guide. In the second part, we're going to be looking at how to install the ControlNet extension. So before we start, I'd just like to let you know that there is a PDF that I've prepared with a step-by-step -step guide all written out and all the links are inside of that PDF and you can just download it and go through it step-by-step. -step. Here we are inside of our directory that we created in the first video. So we're going to go to AI stable diffusion web ui and over here we're going to click in this top bar and we are going to type cmd for command okay there we have that and now we are going to type the following pip space install space open cv dash python and press enter okay so we have it all installed and we've noticed that our pip is out of date and there's a new one available so all you need to do is just select this and copy it by playing ctrl c and paste it and press enter and this will update it okay there we go so now it's up to date and we will close this and we will start the web user all right so once that is finished we're just going to copy the address one more time by pressing ctrl c and pasting it inside of our web browser press enter and over here we will go to our extensions install from url and over here we are going to paste our link so to get the link we need to go to github type mikubil inside over here and you're going to get to this site over here get this code copy that and paste it into the stable diffusion let's press ctrl v and then install once that is complete we are going to go and download the models just like we did in the first video the control net also needs models so to find those models we are just going to go to this address over here which will be in the pdf that i have attached in the description so you can just copy the same address and you'll find all the models over here so i have already downloaded the first one so all you need to do is click download it will come over here and it will start downloading and once you've done that we are going to take it from that folder so we're going to click cut in c ai stable diffusion extensions control net models and we will paste it in here once you have pasted that one inside there you can also go ahead and download the rest of them and put them in the same directory okay now we just check here uh, check for updates and apply and restart ui okay so the next time you log into your stable diffusion ui at the bottom over here you will find your new control net so if we open that you will see inside of model we have the model that we downloaded earlier and put into the directory um, if you want the, all of the other ones you can go and download them and they'll also pop up over here when you restart the ui over here you have more and you'll see there's also canny usually when i work i set both of them to the same one uh, when generating images okay so that's how you install the control net guys if that helped you please consider subscribing and i'll see you in the next lesson